What's up guys? This is Tom with Kayvon here for Functional Fitness VA with your monthly strength exercise. Uh, this month we're going to give you a couple variations of a squat. Uh, the goblet squat is what we're going to progress to, but we're going to start it with what we call a facing the wall squat. And this will teach you how to kind of get your hips and your body in line for an effective goblet squat. Right? So we're going to have Tom, he's going to face the wall right now. We're going to give you a different look here in a second. His feet are about hip width, toes slightly turned out. For everyone, it's going to be different. Play with it a little bit to find your own. Now with this, he's about an inch or so away from the wall. You may need to be a couple inches away from the wall. But again, you're going to play with it and find out what works best for you. From here, he's going to start squatting, right? sinking his hips down and back, bending through the knees. And the idea is not to face plan on the wall. When he comes down to a point where he can't go any lower before he hits the wall, he stops and then comes back up. Now, if you notice here, he keeps a nice long spine, so he's going to do another one for us. Sinking down and back, weight still in his heels, face not touching the wall, long spine, and he comes back up. I'm going to show you from a side view, use a little prop. Imaginary wall. So, he's facing the wall, he sinks down and back. Hips travel back, face doesn't hit the wall, knees don't go past the toes, comes back up. Do one more for us from this side. In this position, if your face is going to hit the wall, chances are your knees are too. Come back up. Relax. So that's a good way of getting your hips to track back as you sink down to the squat. Now, where we utilize that is the goblet squat. We have a couple little toys here. These are going to be for counterweights. With the counterweight, you can also then up it for strength gains. So Tom's going to bring that kettlebell up in front of his chest. Again, in front of the chest, he still gets that same stance. He's going to start coming down, just like he was doing the face in the wall squat. That counterweight's going to come out a little bit, because it's countering his weight of his hips so he doesn't fall backwards. You can get a little better depth, but still notice the knees don't go past the toes. They don't go in. They don't go out. His face will be clear of the wall, and then he comes back up. Side view, same idea, get the feet set, stands up tall, starts coming down, weight comes out a bit, just a little bit, enough to counterbalance, and then comes back up. We love the kettlebell, you could use a dumbbell, it doesn't really matter, just hand position might be a little more awkward, still same idea, You're just going to do one to show you, in front of the chest, starts sinking down, weight comes out a bit back up. Got a baby at home? Use the baby. Got a dog? Eh, it might be on me, but use the dog. So there we have the face the wall squat, which is a progression to get you into a nice goblet squat. This is Tom McCabe on here with your functional, uh, functional fitness strength exercise of the month.